What is up everybody, this is Atticus the Death Meddler, and I'm going to be talking about a recent metal show that went way overboard, and of course I'm going to be talking about a uh, show involving one of my all-time favorite death grind bands, Cattle Decapitation. Now, I picked up this article on Metal Injection, and clearly this was an interesting thing to read, and something that I really need to address over and put in my two cents. So what happened was, um... Uh, Cal Decapitation show at the 13th Frame Lounge in La Habra, California did not end well for two concert goers as they ended up in the hospital. Lamb Goat reports that a fan was allegedly displeased about being pushed around in a mosh pit and ended up pulling out a knife and slashing another fan's neck. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, that is fucking intense. But... Thankfully, other metalheads on the scene immediately saw what happened, took action, and surrounded the attacker, knocked him unconscious. And to all of you guys who are at the show, I applaud you. I fucking applaud you. I mean, I can understand that mosh pits can be very intense. And I talked about, you know, a video where I was talking about Chris Fenn's opinion on moshing. But I can understand, you know, moshing can be pretty intense but if you're gonna go around and pull a knife out that's gonna cause some disturbance also you're gonna put people's lives in danger so continuing the attacker and his victim both ended up in the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries well thankfully the guy who was had his throat slashed did not have any critical injuries now, the news was first reported by the drummer for Suicide Silence, Alex Lopez, who was attending the show as a fan, and he has his tweet where he goes on saying, I arrived and so did seven police cars, an ambulance and a fire truck. Someone got stabbed in the neck. Took that decapitation too far. And, you know, I have to admit, you know, I met Alex Lopez a couple of years ago, really nice guy. And many allegations claim that one of the attendees alleges that the reason the knife was pulled was because the attacker's girlfriend got hit. Now, if you don't want to get punched or attacked in the pit, just get the fuck out of the pit. Now, I can understand moshing can be violent, but seriously, leave your weapons at home. And this is no stranger to me. Now, many of you... And I know I'm going to bring this up if any of you were at that event. And I'm going to be talking about Summer Slaughter 2012 in Tampa, Florida. Yes, I was there. To any of you who was at that show, raise your fucking hand right now. Because let me tell you a little story about what happened. So, Job for a Cowboy was beginning to do their sets. They just finished their song Embedded. They were going to be playing their song Imperium Wolves. Right from like the few seconds of the song, they stopped, they abruptly stopped and bolted out. Now, we are ab absolutely just stunned and just pissed off over what's going on. And we're absolutely fucking confused. And this one guy says, all right, we realize what's going on. You guys need to get the fuck out. And we are absolutely confused over what's going on. So we get out. And there was tons of police cars. And there was caution tape being spread around the place, there were German shepherds barking, I mean, and there were like a couple of like heavily armed police officers with paintball guns. Now the reason why was that someone got a tip that someone was gonna kill Johnny Davey from Job for a Cowboy. He had two knives and a gun, he was gonna plan to kill them. Now, <sighs> that is absolutely fucking stupid. Now, look, I can understand, like, there are some bands that I dislike, but would I go as fucking far as to kill some certain band members that I, of a band that I don't like? No. Yes, of course, I don't like falling in reverse, and I fucking hate Ronnie Radke, but am I going to go out of my fucking way to prove my point that I hate him by killing him on stage? That would make me just as low as the guy who shot Dimebag Daryl on stage, regardless whether or not Ronnie Radke is a fucking jerk. Now... Really, we need to learn something here. Now, I can understand moshing is pretty violent and stuff, but to go around and go as far as harming someone with a weapon, that is uncool, and that is inappropriate to do in a metal show at all. So, 
to all the people who saw the person, I applaud you guys. And, and not to mention, like, I'm pretty proud over the vocalist Travis Ryan, who's actually defending his band over what happened on that night. So, you know, Travis Ryan, you're, you're fucking awesome, man. So I, I, I absolutely love and respect you guys, and I am pretty bummed over what happened. So, like, seriously, guys, I mean, I know it's a metal show, but you have to realize, don't bring fucking weapons into a metal show. Put them where they're supposed to be, in your home. Without further ado, I am Atticus the Death Metaler. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Links are in the description below. Keep it metal. Have a wonderful day.